In this tutorial, we'll see how to use Napalm Python library for network automation. Napalm stands for Network Automation and Programmability Abstraction Layer with Multi-Vendor Support. And this provides unified API for interacting with different networking operating systems. And you can see the supported operating systems here. This supports Arista EOS, Cisco IOS, iOS XR, NXOS, and Juniper OS. And to use Napalm, first you need to load the device driver. And if you want to see the supported devices, we can go to supported devices list. And here we can see the backend libraries it is using for connecting to the device. For connecting to Arista EOS, they are using Pi EAPI. And for iOS XR NetConf, they are using NC Client. This is a library available in Python for connecting to the NetConf devices. And for NXOS and iOS, they are using NetMiko in the backend. And here we can see the configuration support matrix. This supports config replace, config merge, commit confirm, compare config, atomic changes and rollback. We will see these options in upcoming videos and this even supports get methods. So using same method you can get the details from multiple devices. You can see the matrix here using get arc table you can get arc table of EOS and iOS. Like this, this supports multiple get methods. And this can even do ping test and trace route. And this is even having some of the configuration templates. Set host name, set NTP peers and all. And now here you can see some of the transport mechanisms they are using for iOS they are using SSH and Telnet and for NXOS they even uses HTTPS and here you can see a sample code here first we need to import get network driver then we need to load the driver here based on the device type we need to load the driver we can see the driver details here the names of each driver and then we can define the device with IP address, username and password. Then using device.open we can connect to the device. Now let us go to network drivers and this is the base class for initiating connection. Here using all these arguments we can connect to the device, hostname, username and password and CLA method we can use for executing CLA commands and you will be getting data in a dictionary format and you can execute multiple commands using CLA. We need to put all the commands in a list and if you use close this will be closing the connection to the device and then we have commit config, compare config, discard config Here we can see some get methods as well and sample responses. And now let us go to the tutorials. And here we'll see changing the configuration options. And here also they have given some example. In our case, we are going to connect to Cisco device. So we need to give the driver as iOS. And to replace the con complete configuration, we can use load replace candidate. This will replace the entire configuration of the device. And then we have commit config, discard config for discarding the current configuration changes. Then we have load merge candidate. And here we can give 
specific configuration commands and we'll see examples of all this and we have a rollback option and for closing the connection we can use device.close and we can go to programming sample and we will try to write similar logic in the next tutorial here now we'll write a very simple script for executing CLI command so let us go to PyCharm and here first we need to go to settings and here you need to install napalm you can search for napalm install package and then we need to import the driver so we can copy paste the same line then here in our case the network driver is going to be iOS then we need to define a device device equal to driver and if you see the documentation so here we need to pass all these arguments so let us set that host name 0.63 and username admin password admin so now these are the attributes we have configured for this particular object now we can check print type of device and we'll see the dir of it so this is an eos driver i need to change this to ios because we are going to connect to cisco ios So now this is iOS driver object and you can see the methods and attributes of this particular object. Now if I want to connect to the device, you can do device dot open and this will connect to the device and if you want to close the connection, you can do device dot close and here I'll do a print connected successfully and let us try running this so it is getting connected successfully and in the end I'll do a print disconnected from the device and if you look into the supported devices here we can see some caveats and let us go to the iOS caveats there are some prerequisites you can see you need to enable archive feature in the device for performing rollback and this is the command you need to execute i have already enabled this in the device you can see here the command rk and path i have given us boot flash and same way we need to enable even scp file transfer in the device using ip scp server enable let me show that command as well so I have already enabled this in the devices and now we'll see how to execute a command after connecting to the device 
I'll remove these lines. I'll give show interface and device dot CLI and we can give the commands here and if you see the documentation here we can see we need to send it in a list format and I'll create a list and inside that I'll give show IP interface brief and we can give multiple commands here show version and we'll try printing show interface or we'll call this show output and if you want to rename this particular object so now this will replace in both places and let us try running this so here we are getting the data in a dictionary format and here the key is the command whatever we have given now if you want to get the specific output we can give the command here let us try running this so now we are getting the specific command and now we will try to get show version output into a variable output equal to show output and we will try to get show version output here and we will try to apply a regex logic here we can use same logic whatever we have written earlier I'll copy this and here also variable name is output so I can copy the same pattern and paste it here and let us try running this so here even from napalm I am able to parse the output using the previously written regex logic so all these command outputs you can parse using same logic and in the next tutorial we'll see how to do load merge candidate compare config commit config and all